hello dear students and now uh, we are going to start on the uh, lecture of immunology uh, in which we'll be studying about the third line of defense and in this um, you know, we'll be uh, learning about cell mediated immunity so cell mediated immunity it as it is clear from the name itself cellular mediated immunity is the one which is based on the or which is mediated by the cells and these cells are particularly the lymphocytes like the t cells b cells are the one which are actually involved in the humoral mediated immunity but t cells are primarily involved in the cell mediated immunity now in this little bit part of it actually also involves the role of b cells so there are two types of uh, t cells which are primarily involved the one is the cd8 plus t cells these are also known as cytotoxic t cells now these as as it is uh, suggested from the name itself the cytotoxic t cells are the one which cause the direct killing of the invading pathogen next is the cd4 t cells these are actually the helper t cells which fall under two classes that is th1 and th2 depending on the pathway which they actually stimulate so th1 uh, is these cd4 t uh, t cells are primarily the helper cells and th1 they stimulate the immune um, pathway by activating the macrophages whereas th2 they uh, these cells they um, activate immune response by in uh, activating the b cells that is converting these b cells into the plasma cells and then further um, going through the pathway of um, humoral immunity so the, these are the structures of the b cells and the t cells in the previous lectures we discussed about the b cells that is these are simply the you know, cells with the membrane bound antibody molecules on their surface and uh, these are the one which actually bind, bound, bind to the antigens whereas the uh, t cells these are the one with the t cell receptor on their surface and further t cells are differentiated on the basis of a specific uh, proteinaceous structures that is the cd4 plus uh, complement uh, structures uh, in the case of t helper cell and cd8 plus in case of cytotoxic cells so this is about the uh, the general structure of the b cells and t cells one more difference between b cells and t cells is that the b cells can directly bind to the antigen that is they can recognize the uh, circulating antigens uh, and uh, in turn they actually bind to the antibody molecules which are there present on the surface but in case of t cells they cannot directly bind to the antigen molecules rather these antigen molecules together in combination with some other cells which are normally the antigen presenting cells they then actually bring this to the uh, uh, these um, t cells and then these uh, actually the um, antigen bound to antigen presenting cells then gets um, bound to the t cell receptor so here in this case for example the b cell is one of the antigen presenting cell so as uh, this is about the uh, t lymphocytes then so what are actually the different types of antigen presenting cells so there are two types in this category the general antigen presenting cells and the professional antigen presenting cells so when we talk of uh, general apcs any cell can be actually the antigen presenting cell uh, the one which is actually affected with the uh, the invading pathogen that can also serve as a antigen presenting cell so normally this involves the um, uh, anti types of antigens involved they are actually the endogenous antigens that means antigens which are there within the cell or within our body so they are present inside the cell now this actually involves a class of another molecule which is known as the mhc class 1 molecule to present these pathogens mhc class 1 are what these are the major histo compatibility complexes which in turn bind to the apcs and carrying the antigens and then this is presented to the cd8 plus t cells uh, which are actually the cytotoxic t cells then the, these are involved in the cellular killing so is it clear like the um, in case of these general apcs these are primarily for the endogenous antigens which are present inside the cell and this further involves the use of mhc class 1 so uh, as you can see from here these are the general apcs plus they are the 
the MHC class 1 receptors together with the uh, MHC class 1 uh, complex molecules together with the antigens then this complex is then presented to the T cell which can then actually recognize and this can actually bind to the T cell receptor and this can actually then bind to the T cells to produce its further response. So, here in this case where the endogenous antigen is there MHC class 1 bound to the APCs together with the antigen they then are presented to CD8 plus T cells to promote the cellular killing. Next are the professional APCs uh, this involves the B cells, macrophages and dendritic cells. So, these are the specific cells which are primarily the ma major players in the case of immune uh, system or defense system of our body they primarily process the exogenous antigens. So, exogenous antigens are what? These are the antigens which are present outside the cell. Now, in this case the uh, MHC molecule which is involved is the MHC class 2 molecule. Okay. So, that means in this case the APCs, in this case these are the professional APCs like B cells, macrophages, dendritic cells. They bind to the MHC class 2 molecule together with the exogenous antigens and then they present it to the CD4 plus T cells and then this T cells then actually uh, uh, activates the uh, different pathways through which it has to act whether it is the, uh, the TH1 pathway or TH2 mediated pathway. So, major histocompat uh, histocompatibility complex molecules, again in this category there are the two types, the first is the class 1 MHC molecules and the class 2 MHC molecules. So, what are class 1 MHC molecules? They are expressed by nearly all the nucleated cells of vertebrate species. It consists of a heavy chain which is linked to a small invariant protein called beta 2 microglobulin. So, you can see. Okay. Now, next is the class 2 MHC molecules which are which contain an alpha and a beta glycoprotein chain which are expressed only by the antigen presenting cells. So, when a nave cell, this we have discussed before, what are nave cells which have not encountered any antigen before. So, when a nave T cell encounters the antigen which in turn is combined with the MHC molecule on a cell, then the, this T cell undergoes, it, un, it becomes activated and it undergoes drop proliferation and it differentiates further into the memory T cells and the effector T cells. Okay. So, in this, the, uh, further the, if we talk of the division of these T cells, these are primarily, actually these are prime, earlier they were of uh, three types that is T helper cells, T cytotex toxic cells and T suppressor cells. But now recently the T suppressor cells have been included under the category of the T helper cells. So, primarily now they have been um, said to be of two types, the T helper cells and T cytotoxic cells. Now, T helper cells which display the CD4 receptors and T cytotoxic cells which display the CD8 plus receptors on their surface. Now, coming next to the cellular mediated immunity, this we have discussed like the B cells, they have the direct surface receptors which are immunoglobulins or antibody molecules which can directly bind to the antigens. But T cells do not have these kind of recept receptors. So, rather they have an antigen presented to them like I have told you that in case of T cells we cannot, the antigen cannot directly um, uh, uh, be attached to the T cells. This antigen has to be presented to these um, T cells like in a silver platter. That means they have to be presented by certain cells which we have discussed that they are the antigen presenting cells. Now these antigen presenting cells together with the MHC molecules whether it is MHC1 or MHC2 depending on the type of antigen whether it is exogenous antigen or endogenous antigen antigens then this combination is actually presented to the T cell where it can bind to the T cell receptor present on the T cells like B cell here is like actually the antigen presenting cell when any antigen gains inside it it, it binds to actually the antibody molecule present on its surface it is internalized and processed and uh, the fragments of that is then combined with certain receptors which are upregulated and this is further combined with the MHC class molecules then this complex of MHC plus the APC is then recognized by the T cell receptors present on the T cell and this further then aggravates the uh, pathway which is mediated by the T cells. So, uh, all the cells 
in the body they are always cleaning themselves you know this is the uh, function of our defense system that we always clean the anything which has actually otherwise gained entry into our body so this is in particular relating to the endogenous antigens so these dirt are basically the viral proteins the normal cellular debris so all endogenous antigens will come into this class and they are continuously being re removed from the body so this these endogenous antigens or the dirt particles they are then actually bound to the mh see one molecule and which this complex is then actually presented to cytotoxic t cells that is cda plus t cells to remove them completely from the body so in uh, see again this uh, animation is not playing in this but i have included or attached the uh, separate uh, ppt slide of this animation at the end so that you can e easily uh, play the animation and uh, can better understand it so um, but i am going to uh, make it little understandable by drawing certain things like for example if we consider that this is the cell which is having the protein uh, for example like the viral proteins and this serves as an endogenous antigen this is then pro um, actually acted upon by certain proteases present in our body which cleave these proteins into the peptide fragments then these peptide fragments together with the mhc class 1 molecule are upregulated onto the surface so this combination of mhc class 1 plus the antigen is then recognized by the t cell receptors which are present on the cyto uh, cytotoxic t cells so they then release directly the certain cytotoxins which in turn directly kills this cell which is actually infected with the the pathogen or in this case like the viral proteins or the virus right so this is the general pathway of working of cytotoxic t cells or cd8 plus t cells which is mediated through mhc class 1 molecules so this is the another way actually how these cytotoxic t cells they lyse the infected cells so this is the infected cell with the endogenous antigen this is the the uh, cytotoxic t cell when they get attached through the class 1 mhc molecules they actually produce certain pores on the they release certain uh, proteins which are known as perforins okay these perforins they generate the pores in the infected cell membrane now this because of the generation of these pores this membrane becomes highly permeable so that the iron and the water they enter the cell through the pores so this gets gets um, further leading to the lysis of the infected cell so this is how actually the cytotoxic t cells work so the uh, ultimate uh, function of cytotoxic t cells is that they destroy the target cells so how do they actually destroy it they recognize the antigens on the surface of all the cells they kill the host cells that are infected with viruses bacteria they recognize and kill even the cancerous cells which are actually the endogenous cells uh, antigens they recognize and destroy the transplanted tissue so this is actually mainly responsible for the transplant rejection so that is why we give the immunosuppressants to the patients those who are to receive the transplanted tissues then these actually cytotoxic t cells they um, they they release the protein which is called as perforin which forms a pore in the target cell and this causes the lysis of infected cell then this uh, lysed cell is removed by the process of apoptosis now another cells under the class of t cells is actually the helper t cells now in this you can see over here that this is the uh, macrophage okay which when recognizes the bacterium engulfs it and actually uh, uh, by the, this actually gets associated with the um, actually the lysosomes to form the phagolysosome means the phagocytosis process takes place and then this is the recognized uh, by the um, this then combines with the class 2 mhc molecule to bind to the uh, actually the t helper cell with the cd4 plus receptors on their surface now this then actually activates these t helper cells and this might work in a two ways first uh, by um, Uh, by actually uh, it releases certain interleukins and other cytokines which further activates the t helper cells b cells and cytotoxic t cells so this might take up the two pathway where they may bind to the cytotoxic t cells or they may bind to the b cells so here actually the cell mediated immunity comes into play and then here in this humoral mediated immunity comes into play or sometimes it happens that these t helper cells may activate both the pathways together okay otherwise they actually work on the th1 or th2 pathway where the th1 is through the t cytotoxic cells and th2 through the 
these B cells. So uh, again, this is the animated sli uh, slide which is not running on it, but uh, I uh, I'll just show you through the uh, by drawing certain things. Like this indicates the antigen molecule, which when binds to the uh, which when is um, which when binds to the surface of these uh, uh, cells, which is a macrophage, or these are rather the antigen presenting cells. Then they are cleaved into the fragments, and these fragments then bind to the MHC class two molecules, upregulated on the surface. Then the um, receptors present on the T helper cells they then bind to it and particularly it binds to the CD4 plus T cells because these are actually the exogenous antigens. Then uh, CD4 plus T cells they release certain cytokines like IL2, interferon gamma, interleukins and uh, TNF alpha which all work together to actually destroy the cells. So this is about the CD4 T helper cells and in this uh, they might actually also involve the um, cell media uh, the humoral uh, mediated pathway or the antibody mediated pathway. So this was about the Th1 cells where they directly kill it by activating certain signals producing certain cytokines like interleukins and interferon gamma. Next is actually the CD4 plus TH2 cells and in this it actually activates the uh, humoral mediated pathway whereby these are the antigens. Now these antigens which when bind to actually the antibody molecules on the surface of B cells they are internalized where they are act, uh, processed and after the antigen processing these receptors they upregulate on, to their, mm, on the surface and then this um, complex of uh, the antigen with the receptor and the B cell is then recognized by the TH2 cells with the CD4 plus receptors and then they cause the release of the cert, uh, direct cytotoxins like or interleukins like IL-5, 6, 10 and 4 which when then act converts these uh, B cells into the effector cells that is a plasma cell and then they release the further production of antibody molecules which are released into the biological milieu to act uh, to act on the other antigens. So that means here it actually activates the humoral mediated pathway or the antibody mediated pathway. So coming to the summary of adaptive immunity, the humoral mediated, uh, humoral mediated immunity is actually or humoral immunity is mediated by the antibody production through B cells whereas cellular mediated immunity is primarily mediated by three cells that is the CD8 plus T cells. The helper cells which are further of two types that is TH1 and TH2 which activate through the MHC uh, forming a complex with MHC2 molecules and particularly um, uh, working on the exogenous antigens and activates the macrophages in case of TH1 cells, activate the B cells to produce the antibody in case of TH2 cells and CD8 plus T cells, these are cytotoxic T cells which work in combination with MHC1 to produce the cytotoxic effects and directly kill the or neutralize the infected cell. So with this we come to the end of the, uh, the immune uh, system. So this is the general overview about the our immune response. So you can see over here there are two branches the humoral immune response and the cell mediated immune, immune response which is mediated by the antibodies uh, the humoral one and the cell mediated immune response mediated by the cells particularly the T cells. So, on first exposure to the uh, antigen, what happens is that free antigens can directly, this can take up one pathway, that is they were the free antigen, they can directly activate the B cell, right. Now, this stimulation can give rise to the plasma cells to secrete more of the antibodies so that they are, mm, the antigens are removed from the body. Another one is that where the macrophages they engulf it and they become the antigen presenting cell where they actually combine with the helper T cells and then they again it can take up this pathway where it stimulates the B cells and further the humoral mediated immunity gets activated. Another one is that the and uh, these antigens they which are displaced by the infective infected cells so here it is about actually the uh, the exogenous antigens they actually activate or bind to the cytotoxic T cells it gets activated and this stimulation um, can give rise to the active cytotoxic T cells and then um, further directly killing these um, pathogens on some part of it actually gets converted to the memory cells it, it is there in the memory B cells in the case of humoral and memory T cells in the case of cell mediated immunity which on second exposure to the antigen leads to the heightened response so that 
the pathogen can get removed uh, gets it gets removed from the body uh, quite rapidly and with a much um, uh, intensity so with this we come to the end of uh, the immune uh, the types of immune response uh, hope you enjoyed studying uh, immunity and immune system thank you